We're here at the VMware Public Sector Innovation Summit with Jennifer Cronus, VP of Public Sector for Federal, State, Local, and Education. Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for uh, having me, and it's been a great day today. It's your event, thank you. <laughs> but but I'd, I'd love to get a conversation about how you see the American public benefiting from government's adoption of a multi-cloud IT strategy. Sure, well, you know, multi-cloud to me and cloud in general is really the foundation for innovation. Uh, you know, the cloud helps Governments move faster, be more agile, fail quickly, and, and really save money in, in at the same time. And so moving to a multi-cloud strategy really helps to accelerate that innovation and provide better mission outcomes and, and help uh, you know, local governments serve their constituents more effectively. So I think it's, it affords a tremendous amount of opportunity uh, for all of our government customers. Moving on, how do you see public sector agencies taking more innovative approaches to IT modernization to include cybersecurity and data protection in 2022? Sure. Well, you know, with all of the acceleration of digital transformation and innovation, cybersecurity has become a much more important and critical topic. And so I think all of our customers now are really having deep conversations about how to be more secure, uh, build more resilience, and move to the zero trust architecture that is really being mandated by our government now. So I think there's a lot still to be learned uh, but on behalf of our customers, but I'm encouraged by how quickly all of our government agencies are really moving to harden their security and build more resilience. Obviously, we can't have any, any, any of these conversations without talent. Um, so on that topic, how do you see digital workforce enablement helping government agencies improve how they attract and retain skilled employees? Well, you know, it's a critical topic because so many of our uh, organizations, companies are going through a huge amount of attrition and turnover now. The pandemic has, you know, taught us that we all can work remotely and we have choices to make about where to work and if we don't like our company's policies, then we, we move on. And I think our government agencies are facing the same thing. So it's really critical uh, for government agencies to continue, in my opinion, giving their employees the ability to continue working remotely because it has worked. We've proven that it's worked. And uh, you know we're really pleased to be able to help them with tech technologies to do that to improve their retention rates. So Jennifer, as we close out, public sector agencies had to move rapidly to acquire novel IT solutions during the pandemic. How do you see those efforts impacting longer term acquisition strategies and or reforms moving forward? Well, you know, government acquisition is uh, an acquisition reform is something that we've been talking about for as long as I've been serving public sector, which is I won't say how long it is. But, uh, you know, I think with the uh, with what we've been through in the pandemic, the government has proven that they can move quickly. When there's a need to acquire something quickly and to be agile, they can do it. And so my hope is that we will see some of the agile acquisitions that we saw occur during the pandemic continue to become more the norm uh, than, than the exception uh, in order to really help our governments you know, do their mission and serve their citizens better. Well, Jennifer, congrats on a great Public Sector Innovation Summit, and thanks again for joining us. Thank you very much. Great to be here.